Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm doing something a little bit different today. You don't normally see people using Tenchi's dead bait deer, but I'm using one today. I actually found it maybe three or four sessions ago. Um, and I actually found it on the canal floating. It looked like either a pike or a mink had had hold of its head and it was blinding both eyes and floating. So I bagged it up, took it home, bagged it in the freezer and brought it out for this session. Now I did actually get out once on the canal of it already um, and fished with it for about four hours and I blanked. It's my first blank in over a year so I was absolutely gutted. I didn't get anything. I even fished another rod with a mackerel um, and I was using sardines and absolutely nothing for four hours. And then I went out again yesterday and that's when I filmed this entire session. Unfortunately my intro was ruined because of the wind. Um, but I went out onto the river searching different spots. I got some roach dead baits, some bream dead baits, some sardines and that dead tench. But the aim of the game was to basically catch as many pike as I could um, in the stormy conditions because it was during the, one of the big storms we had um, and the river was rising so the smaller baits that I had I was going to use in areas where I knew there was a good chance of jack pike and in the areas where I, I thought there may be a big pike lurking uh, like a double figure pike I was going to use a tench to try and use a tench to catch a pike so I'll let this play through hope you guys enjoy it um, I did catch a few fish don't worry this isn't going to be a quiet video and I'll see you in a minute Right, so I've reached the swim now. It was quite good. We've got a slight right down this margin. I fished it a couple of times this year. We had a jack pike from it a few weeks ago. Uh, and the slack runs all the way up the near side bank. So it's a good area for predatory fish to sit and hold and uh, wait for any dying bait fish to come swimming into the area. So we'll give this area a little go, have a little cast around. I thought I saw a jack pike spook out the edge when I got here. So a few casts around with a small bait, bream, and uh, we'll see if we can catch any of this. Right down my near side margin. It's not a very big fish at all. If I haven't spooked it, which I might have done, I'm sure it will take that bream. That bream dead bait. Yep, 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 yep. It's only a small pike though. Yep. <laughs> that rod tip's tapping. Should just go for it. We got it, we got it. We got it. Oh, a little jump there. <laughs> Damn it, it threw me bait as well. Loosen that drag off a little bit. It's a little bit bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a two pounder or something, but it ended up getting bigger. Unless I saw a smaller one down there. Originally. Probably about a four pound. It's not, not bad. Four pound bream muncher. There we go. Love the pike. Oh. Tad bit bigger than I thought. Definitely when I saw this fish in the water, I thought it was going to be like a two or three pounder, but it's more like five. Definitely going to need to get pliers on it. Oh, there we go. There's one hook out. The other one's only just. I don't know why I play this scary game of trying to get bitten by the pike. There we go. Remove me, rig out the net, let him rest, and we'll take a good look at him. Funky guy. There we have it, a lovely chunky winter river pike. I was caught on a little dead bait bream. And it looks like a cormorant's had hold of its tail. There's a lot of cormorants around in this area, and there's a great big chunk missing out of its tail. So I'm guessing the cormorant's had hold of it. Just on this side, if you can see it there, it's definitely like a beat mark. It's a beautiful fish, still healthy. Around about five pound, it only looked tiny in the water. I thought it might have been like a two or three pounder. But yeah, nailed that dead bait. It's getting back. It probably would have been big enough to take the tench. But uh, we're trying to reserve the tench for at least a double figure fish. We'll keep our eyes peeled, see if we can find any chunks. Let's get this one back. Awesome bit of sport. Uh. 
taking a bit of shelter out from the wind and in this particular swim i'm not going to fish straight ledger i'm going to fish a free line bait so it's a small bait once again it's a swim not too sure if there's going to be many big pike here so there's no point in wasting a tench on a small jack bike so i'm going to go around there with this small bait and see what we can find let's get it hooked up it's going to be a small bait this one and i'm a cast around in the slacks on the far bank Can't see any big shapes out there, so oh, there's a snag. Surprise, surprise. Come on, 40 pound braid, managing to do the job there. It's got loads of line attached to it. It's got someone's soft plastic bait attached. <laughs> hey, it's one of my soft plastic baits <laughs> from a previous session. That's cool. Good that I got that back. Come when I went out with the worms. So plastic worms. Well, that there it is. <laughs> cool. Right, time to set my net up here. Well, another nice little swim. Gonna fish one of the sort of bigger, breamy roachy baits I've got. A little hybrid. I was tempted to put a lead on, but screw it. Drift a bait down. We hope he won't get snagged up. It's a nice little swim, this. Another one of those where I don't think there's any monsters here, so I don't need to put the tench out there. But it's worth a few casts. Oh, I've got a nice little jack pike here. Hopefully, to give us a bit of fun. Yeah, I think I've got one. I think I might have one. Yep. There we go. There we go. Don't feel like a jack either. <laughs> that feels like a proper solid fish. Look how I'm snagged up. No, that's a good fish. That's a good pike. Okay, I was not expecting that. Okay, it was holding flow, it's not that big. <laughs> I thought it was going to end up being a, a, a great big one. It felt so good in the flow. I think it might have been gone, even gone under a snag when I first upped it. It felt like it was going to be a mid-double. No, it's only a, maybe an eight-pounder. Quick hook set. Nice fish landing. Close to a double anyway. Really nice hook set. One just in the lip. One just behind a raker. Let's get pliers on that. There we go. Let's fish rest. We'll take a look at it. It's a decent fish. He might have even been in a snag when I first hooked him because. It felt solid, like proper solid. I thought it was going to be like a mid-double figure pike, <laughs> which would have been really nice. But obviously I want a fish of that sort of size on the tench bait, but yep, wonderful fish. Great fight in the uh, deeper water, the fast flow, and a beautiful pike. And he's just bit me, so that's nice. <laughs> I'm going to have some bleeding now. Let's get him rest a little bit more and we'll let him go. Beautiful pike. Right, so I just lost what looked like a decent sized pike, so I'm going to put on a bigger bait. It came off in the margin, it was only on for a few seconds, so I'm hoping it'll take another bait, and I've got these jumbo roach. Can't see why it would turn down that. So, I'm going to fish free line still. 
because that's how we took it the first time. But the bait is gently drifting downstream. Don't know how it come off. It was well hooked. They looked it. There we go. It's right in the margin. It's looking at it. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's got it. You 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 got it. Camera's out of focus. Never mind. There we go. Threw me bait as well. Beautiful pike. Probably could have used a tench for this. Good size. It's a really hard fighting pike. River pike always fights super hard in the flow. He's a chunky one too. Good job I got me a long hand on that anyway. Come on, come on. Oh, he's hooked really weird, only one hook in the mouth. One hook under the chin. We got him, we got him, what a fish. What a fish. Just gonna unhook him in the neck, because he's really hooked weirdly. He's only gonna get tangled up in the net. Look at that, so easy to unhook too. Quick strike. Probably would have been a pike big enough to take that tench. Probably just into double figures. I guess it's probably around 10 pound. Really nice fish, super fat. Definitely a chub muncher I'd say this pike is. Really green in colour. It's a really greeny coloured pike. Normally I catch them, they're quite dark and camouflage, but he's really cool. Probably sits in the streamer weed waiting for those chub. What an awesome looking fish. It's getting well rested and put him back. Absolutely awesome. Cast it out and draw it into the slack. It's really shallow, but I'm hoping there'll be one tucked right down the margin. Ooh. Heavy bait. Well, the first one I tried on the river with the tench was a bit of a bust. I'm going to take it off without touching it as much as possible. But just think of how slimy tench are when they're a lot. Then imagine how disgustingly slimy they are when they're dead. Oh, I've just seen a big pike. I think she's going back on. <laughs> I've just spotted a big pike. I was just about to cast out to the small pike, but I need to get a fish on that tench. Damn it, means I have to handle it again. Oh, disgusting. Sticky and horrible. I've been here for like. 15-20 minutes staring at the water using some of my watercraft to try and figure out where the fish might be and I thought there would be one on the far bank and I couldn't see anything over there I've been staring at it the whole time not seeing a single thing and I've just stood up and there's a pike right there this shows how well camouflaged here I've been staring at the same bit of water for ages nothing then out of nowhere pike just comes into your vision And I probably just ruined the swim. Probably knocked the pike out. Oh my god, it's got it, it's got it, it's got a tench, it's got a tench, it's got a tench. Right, here's a big bait. Um let's see if I can see. Okay, okay, it's not it's not eating it yet, it's not eating it yet. Just chewing on it. 
You ready? Check my drag. We got it, we got it. Yes, it's a nice pike too. Yes, 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 yes. That's on that dead tinge. Whoa. Oh, that is epic. Good size pike too. Come on. Oh, he threw the bait. I was hoping it would stay on. Oh, that would have made a really good thumbnail. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we got it. Oh, on the tension, it's only just hooked. One hook in the mouth, and one hook loose. How lucky was that? So it makes it so much more cooler. Look at that, that is just the hook hole it had. There's a hook point just on the edge of the mouth. Oh, nibble that hook out, come on. There we go. Beautiful pike. Well, I wasn't far off from my estimate. I estimated this fish to maybe go about 12 pound. It went 11 pound one, I think. 11 pound two. Really nice fish. Really good condition. Proper river fish. If this was from some mud puddle or maybe from a big tidal river, it would probably have a massive gut on it. But it's just a lean, mean fighting machine. And a tent cheating machine by the looks of it. Tried a few spots on the canal yesterday. Spent four or five hours, absolutely nothing. Come to the river, had a few jack pike turn it down. The moment a big mama saw it, snaffled it straight down, almost as soon as I cast out. Absolutely awesome. Let's get her rested and then we'll get her back. <laughs> awesome. So that brings us to the end of the session. I did manage to catch a pike right at the end. I changed spots completely to an area where I knew there could be a bigger pike, a double figure pike. Sure, it wasn't an absolute monster, but it was a really, really nice fish for that river. A low double, low double figure pike, probably around about 12 pounds, something like that, um, on the tent, which is absolutely awesome. So if you wanna check out any of the gear I've used today, this session, I'll leave down in the description below. If you wanna subscribe, please feel free. We're heading towards 100,000 subscribers, which is an awesome milestone, um, and, like if you liked it, leave a comment if you want to, and I'll catch you guys later.